But he does have the sneaky goblins land on top of the bomb tower into the tornado trap. It is a oh 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 misses the town hall oh no lost his queen too hey what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric we started with hundreds of teams in the competition here in the pre-qualifiers to get into the world championship of clash of clans but now we have four teams that have secured their position and four other teams that are fighting in the final round to try to survive and be one of the six that advances to play on the supercell live stream with a chance at a golden ticket to the world championship of clash of clans and their share of a one million dollar prize pool we have dc ranger and bad zinger in this war here and dc ranger will be kicking us off here with a little bit of a pekka smash we'll see if they can start us strong here in this war but lots of money on the line here but this is where the money rounds start it was open qualifiers for anybody to join but now if they can get through this round right here, then every round after this, when they're playing on the Supercell livestream and beyond into the World Championships, is starting to rack in the dollars. So we'll see if they can get it done here, as he has the Witches working on the right flank with the Siege Breaks troops, where Champion joins in. After the Enemy King is distracted, he's going to freeze up the single Inferno, so it's not beating on him over the wall there as he makes his approach to the Town Hall. But he does need to get this Enemy Queen down. She's beaten on his left flank there as Queen can reach it. He has the ice golems that are popping there that'll help stall up the enemy queen there and give him a chance to take it down. He finally gets all the pups from the hound cleared out of the way. He's got the king ability to carry him through the town hall, but he hits into a double giant bomb right as he pops his king ability. This is all of his wizards. Or not wizards. He doesn't generate wizards. He generates barbarians. OP barbarians. The queen. Still never getting access to the scatter shot. Walking right past it. Nothing ever got access to that scatter shot here. It's her champion will pop her ability. She's going to go down. It's down to these last couple troops around the outside, but they're all light troops here. And there's a multi-inferno and a scatter shot on the backside. Guys, it's going to be a defense here to open up. And this one really doesn't have much of a chance to go through. Really need to handle the scatter shot on the left side better. It did so much work in there. And without it going down, there was never really a chance. He had the heal as he went to the town hall to deal with the poison. It was a nice touch, but... No. No, this multi inferno is going to rip him up. All right. He'll get out of it into the 90s. But that's how we're starting off this war. It's do or die here, guys. It's do or die. You win. You get paid. You move on to the World Championship Qualifiers. But if you lose, it was all for nothing. Phoenix right now is number three in Legend League. Is he now? Number five, I see. Can't get that one, though. Juan is live! Here we go. Juan. Has been to the World Championship before. Only player in this match that has actually played on that World Championship stage in Germany in 2019. He played with Nova Esports when they won the World Championship. And it was actually Juan's attack that clutched the win at the very end. And got them to take down MCES. Pretty wild thing. Remember pretty vividly. Pretty crazy match there that they had. But uh, definitely a player that has a lot of competitive experience here. And we'll see if he can get it done here as he charges his way into the scattershot compartment. In through the CC. And where can he go from here? He puts in the world champion on the bottom corner to go after the multi-inferno. They've dragged down behind to uh, just clear trash and give a little bit of a uh, little bit of tanking there for the world champion, but it doesn't survive, unfortunately. Would have liked for his queen to reach the enemy world champion before his world champion got there, so he could protect her. We'll lose out on that a little bit. Everybody drops in a headhunter. Doesn't get much out of the headhunter. 
Because <laughs> the queen doesn't want to cooperate. He's, uh... Okay, okay. This town hall is going to target his healers a little bit there. He's going to freeze it. He'll protect them. It'll also protect the king. Loses a healer to a black mine. Sends in two additional super wall breakers. That both go through. Hit a whole bunch of traps on the way through. But they get the wall open. All the way into the core. And give the queen access to the scatter shot. Now that doesn't give her access to the single inferno. It's going to be sitting on her flank there. And it's eventually going to take her down. Don't really have a safe spot for the healers to transfer to either. He loses his queen. Through her ability. As the eagle strikes come down. I want to hold it together here. He's got the headhunters coming through. The headhunters end up pulling the healers through the middle of the base there, which pulled a couple of the traps, protecting that stone slammer. Drops and balloons on the far back side of the attack there to start to clean up on the far back side. Not gonna make it through that geared up arch tower though. Slammer still working his way through. Need to get this enemy queen down. Headhunters are on her and they get her down. They'll take out the king as well and they go right into cleanup here. Got a single inferno still to get through. He'll snipe off the air defense. With a couple of balloons, he needs to circle back for the arch tower up top. And I think all the balloons... Oh, nobody gets a split. Oh, the warden takes a black mine. That's a big blow right there. Losing the damage of the warden. If he gets a single furnace, he might be able to have it, though. He's got the dragon. He's got the owl. Owl can chain through and get some damage onto this archer tower. Balloons are working their way through. The owl is going to sit there solo in the middle there. Chip on the storage there. He's now going to chain through to the archer tower. He's got 10 seconds, but I don't think he has enough time to close it. One minion sitting just outside of the range there onto that cannon. They get the arch tower down with the owl. Step into the wizard tower, but it doesn't go down. It will be a time fail for one. Lucas is live. Here we go. Coming in with a queen charge dragon rider attack. They missed the first one. But with one's missed, they have an opportunity to take an early lead here. Really got to connect with this one here. It frees up the queen as she charges in the town hall. Take out the single inferno. Continue on to the town hall and fight the CC. Although he does get the town hall down before he switches over to the hound. That's really, really valuable right there. A couple sneaky goblins to thin the pathing of the queen. And while she fights up the hound, the town hall poison will fade. Clean approach here for Lucas. He's already starting something down at the bottom of the base there. Does a super wall break. Catches the tornado trap there with his queen. But we'll see if he can get his king to go into that eagle artillery, which is his only other ground troop here. So I assume that he's going in there. Gets him to just walk in without any additional funneling troops there. Nice judgment on exactly how the king was in a path there. You lock onto the king. And it'll pull him even deeper in that compartment. He'll be able to pop his building, get that enemy Eagle Artillery down. He's got the Roar Champion working underneath the Dragon Riders as they push him from the left side. Dragon Riders are not locked onto the... Here, he's got the Head going in to take out the Queen. All right, that's, that'll deal with that. And with the King taking out the enemy King, he doesn't have to really worry about the King causing problems with his Roar Champion, so... With all enemy heroes down, she has free reign underneath and no ground expos in this base either. She gets some really good value out of her ability right around where she's at right now and burn all the way through that Tessa farm. The slammer opens up and drops out balloons and another dragon. Queen beating on a wall there. She's going to maintain the tension of the scatter shot though uh, as he makes his final push through the base here. He's got the freeze. He can lock up the air defense. Honestly, just lock up the air defense in the archer tower and leave the scatter shot alone. One dragon right left. The final push. Queen still has plenty of time to clear out the base. Guys, it's a triple all day. Lucas from DC Ranger will land this one here. That was a clean sweep. A nice queen charge. Good control. Good timing on everything. And it's absolutely crushed. All right. Now, can they get the defense necessary to take the lead? Or is Badzinger going to maintain it? Rikiris is live! Coming in with a Blizzard Lalo. Ends in the Hound. Limp will drop. Which side of the wall is it on? Where are they at? Where are they at? There's a wall break there. He brought in a wall breaker, so it doesn't matter what side of their wall they're on. They'll take out the scatter shot, but they all broke south. The ones that broke north got sniped off as they split. He got the tornado trap out of the way, though. 
I'll get some additional value in this bottom compartment. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nothing crazy there. Wasn't a, an enormous amount of value, but he did get all the primary targets. Left with that enemy row champion, though. So then his queen and row champion work together here. That's interesting. Row champion will go into the single inferno and he'll send in a headhunter to go deal with the enemy row champion. Stay right there on the inside. Okay. Make her invisible. Get the single inferno down. Protect the queen. I mean, that's kind of what the row champion's job is protect the queen, right? Technically, maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> What's their whole dynamic there? What's their whole dynamic? <laughs> is this the road champion's job to protect the queen? Maybe. That's what she's doing right now, though. He'll have the king working on the left side of the base there. You can actually walk in there. See, he funnels them out on both sides just a little bit. Getting the king to go in there and take the scatter shot. Starts in the Lalo. As the scatter shot is tanked, the king will continue on with the ice golem. And work his way through that enemy queen. A header comes down to help him deal with that enemy king. Queen, I mean. The Ice Hound's crossing all the way through there. Unfortunately, the Ice Hound is going to pop on the far end of the base. But it is clearing a lot of traps on the way through. Let's get this multi down in the middle, though. A couple red bombs going off in the middle. You have ward ability through them. I want the middle pack there to go down. It's a pretty heavy pack. Lot that absorbed four black bombs. Excuse me. Four red bombs and multiple black bombs. I don't know exactly how many black bombs were in that, but that took out all of the many traps that the Ice Hound didn't get. I don't know this yet. Let's get the Expo. He's losing balloons fast here, though. A lot of damage here. Multiple Wizard Towers to work his way through. Expo mowing him down. I think he might be able to overwhelm it. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Yeah, he does. There we go. Bad Singer. Rack it in. Another triple. Wait, what was that? Was that the first triple or was that their second? <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> I lost track. I think it's their first triple, right? Well, one way or another. One way or another. It's a lead. And Bazzi goes on top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the first triple. I gotta hydrate. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the sun this weekend. I'm going to uh, Hawaii on Wednesday. So I gotta hydrate now. So I can dehydrate then. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but don't worry. I have a uh, I have a remote office all ready to go out there. And I will stream when I get there as well. So you won't miss me. I'll work as a working vacation. But in Hawaii, so it's cool. Woo is live. Here we go. We got ourselves a Pekka Smash. Coming up for the next one. Do the double jump option here with a log launcher still. Usually when we see the double jump, we see it with a Siege Barracks here. Um, he doesn't have a poison. I hope he doesn't need one. Because he didn't bring it. <laughs> Let's see if we get it done. Maybe that's normal for him. Maybe he just normally doesn't bring a poison. I don't know. Who am I to say? But he'll ward walk out this scatter shot. And we'll see if he can keep it all under control here as the Pekka start to pull the warden opposite of the town hall to go in through the artillery. He switches it out to a siege bricks. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. He has another super ball breaker that he can use to get into the multi-inferno compartment, and here it comes. He's gonna be rounding around this eagle artillery compartment. A bit of a little bit of an obstacle there. But no, the road champion will duck in there. Now the road champion needs to get stalled somewhere and not arrive to the king and the queen before he gets them distracted in the middle of the base there by his main push. But he has the hound. Pop there. The ward ability active while he engages the single inferno and takes eagle strikes there. He's got these super wizards that are burning up all the CC troops there. That's why I didn't bring the wizard or the poison, I mean, because the super wizards had enough punch there to easily take that down. He rages up as he goes into the town hall compartment. The super wizards and the queen take out the single inferno, freeze up the town hall. Roar champion save over on the right side. Hogs out of the siege barracks will work their way in, protecting the roar champion and drive their way in to the scatter shot. 
Well, Grass Skelly's there stalling up his uh, Roar Champion a little bit there, but the Queen taking another jump spell to go all the way through to lock on to the Multi-Inferno. Will take that down. She still has her ability. And DC Ranger is looking good to close this one out. This looks absolutely crushed here. The Queen has picked up all of the healers here. More balloons across the top of the base there to go pick off some of the last remaining defenses. Collapse into the final arch tower. And DC Ranger looking good here. And they'll pass it right back to Bazinger. We'll have to triple again. If they want to maintain the lead. Leon is live. Here we go. Leon coming in with a... Dragon Rider. Green Charge. He's going to be going... In through the multi inferno. Now, there is a weird path that this queen's gonna have to take as she goes in there because look at the wall placement inside of that compartment. So, once she goes in, she'll have to loop around that, which could put her healers in a compromised position. Interesting base building idea, and I wonder if it'll work. But he has a party wizard on the outside there with a balloon. I brought that arch tower. Queen will start around. And look at the angle that she's going to approach with. And if she engages the CC before she gets that multi-inferno down, she's going to be stalled up. He makes her invisible. Also made the headhunter invisible. And she does get it down before she engages the CC. All right. That was clever. That was clever. Nice invisibility. Holds the CC off. Keeps the queen from getting targeted. And keeps her... Healers and her unicorn alive and deals with the CC very, very nicely. He's got a jump spell now. And he can jump to hit both scatter shots here. It was definitely specifically built to try to stop that queen charge. And he seemed to have found a way around it. We're going to start in the dragon run. He's in from the bottom corner here. The headers will come in to go out to the enemy queen. Also going to be able to take out the enemy king if they have enough HP to do so. We're going to be able to protect him for now, but there's a bomb tower strike him as well. Dragons will take out the bomb tower. And they can switch over to the queen. Are there any headers left in there? They did not get the king down. Ooh, Leon lost his queen on top of that. He did not get either scatter shot. Pops his RC ability, but the king and the queen is still standing. And they're going to tear him up. And ladies and gentlemen, that means DC Ranger is going to take the lead. He'll do what he can here with his king. The king worked on the outside, but he's going to circle back to the outside of the base here, very likely. And die into the Tesla farm. A big miss here for Badzinger. King's still running around like crazy, but... <laughs> Not going to make it. Not going to make it. Lost his queen. Headhunters needed a rage. To be able to take out both of those heroes in time. Locked onto the king. King has too much HP. Never got to the queen. King then turned around. Killed his road champion. But Johnny's kill is killed. Ah. <laughs> that was looking so good here, Leon. But it all was a cascading effect there as soon as he ended up not getting that king down and the queen with the three headers. Needed a. Needed a rage. 86%. DC Ranger, first lead of the war. And now a percentage advantage too. 89 is live. 89, a former Space Station gaming player, now playing for DC Ranger as this team tries to make a name for itself. A newly formed team here, but he does have the Sneaky Goblins land on top of the bomb tower into the tornado trap. It is a, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Misses the town hall! <laughs> he dropped in the invisibility, but it wasn't enough. Oh no. He lost his queen too. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What is happening, JD9? Come on! Pull together, man. Get it? You you can't triple anymore. You you just swagged your queen and your blimp. 
And you're king! <laughs> oh my... No one star. No one star. With that little value out of the heroes, one star is a real potential here. Can he get the... Can he get the 50%? Dragon Riders start their way in. He's got the Warden at least with them. You really need to hold up... Use one Dragon Rider at least to go pick off a... Corner and just pick up all the trash around it. But 30% in climbing. Puts in a Dragon Rider over in the left hand corner to collapse in the Arc Towers. That'll free to trash over there, but it's gonna be dumped in the air defense pretty quickly here. 36%, 37%, climbing. Slowly. Not a ton of trash freed up along the bottom side, but there's a lot more freed up on the left side. Hess is popping. He's approaching 50% here. He should be able to get it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Okay. That's a big blow. 67%. <laughs> a major, major miss here for JD9. Right in that queen charge. The later healers. Right into the tornado trap there. Sweeper almost knocked him out of the compartment. That would have been really bad. That would have been even worse. If it can get any worse. Then the queen died through her ability. Yep. Crash damage to the rocket balloons. Crash damage to the rocket balloons. That'll get you. That'll get you. All right. Here we go. Jose. Now with an opportunity to put his team in the lead. Starts in. With a blimp, at the town hall, we'll be landing onto a bomb tower. If it's a blizzard, which it looks like it is, he'll need to quake the bomb tower so the crash damage destroys it. That'll make so that the bomb explodes before the super wizards deploy out. He can make the wizards invisible here as he takes the town hall down and tries to clear out as much of the base here as possible. But they do quickly go into the town hall poison and the super wizards die before getting much value. They set an invisibility there that they didn't need to as the wizards were already dead. That'll be a little bit of a swag as he starts his way in with a couple of balloons to snipe off the arc tower on the far left of the base. Super wall broken to go into the artillery. He can start to clear out that left hand corner so we can cut the funnel tighter here. But he honestly needs to clear out the trash on the bottom side of here before he has anything leak. This barracks worries me and I think some troops are going to turn around to it. No, they step forward. Nope, one split. <laughs> Alright, one split. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. He can work with one splitting up there. Especially if he can go get that arch tower down. Over on the right side. But the main push is going strong. Everything's staying together. Freeze up as he goes to the enemy queen. A couple black mobs going off in the middle of the base. The king trying to break the wall to push his way into the Ziggler artillery compartment. The world champion coming out of the backside air defense. Dragon over on the right side will actually get that arch tower down. Clear out some of the trash over there. Not out of this yet, though. Dragon Riders will step in and go get this multi inferno down with the help of the warden. Her champion sweeping underneath. She's got the ground expo on her. A couple of air skellies. More black mines going off on his dragon riders here. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to call yet. They've got a queen ability. RC has to get the scatter shot down. And doesn't get it. Scatter shot will stay standing. Uh oh. Can he get it? I don't think he can. I don't think he can. I think it's a defense, guys. He drops in a minion. Oh, come on. Clutch minion. Sends in two minions. He's got the tanking. One of the minions is inside the minimum range of the scatter shot, I think. But the queen picked up the tanking there. Try right, to stay alive. Officer ability. Minions can get targeted. They're outside of the range. And they will get taken out. That's going to be a defense, guys. Okay. So, what that means is DC Ranger can win it right now if they triple. But if they miss, then Badzinger can take it back. Badzinger has a massive percentage advantage here. So, any miss at all from DC Ranger will make so that Badzinger can triple and they can take it. This is DC Ranger's opportunity is do or die, and SZ is live. Heck a smash. Got the siege barracks. What does he want to warden walk here? 
Drops in an archer first. Make sure, sure no Tesla farm pops on him as he drops his warden. Smart. Drops in his warden inside the range of the archer tower so he can drop the healer safely without them getting targeted. Also smart. Hardy Wizard out in the corner there can quickly clear up the trash out there. Hardy Wizard move very, very quickly. They have less HP than a normal wizard, but they, as long as they stay protected or out of the range of defenses, they can deal out a lot of damage very, very quickly. Definitely help out the warden. Warden, you have to go to the air defense here and we'll see where he goes from there. If he decides to step into the collectors or go to the scatter shot early like he needs him to do. Goes to the collector first. Okay, there we go. Got, got the scatter shot down. No threats to the Warden right now. No Expos deep in the base here that are locked onto the Warden. Prevent a healer transfer. Then looking really, really clean on this opener. This cost him some time though. He's got the Siege Barracks. The Siege Barracks can make up for the time. I generate a whole bunch of extra troops. If he can keep them protected. No Multi-Infernos on the left flank of the base here. So he won't have any Siege Barracks troops dying over the wall in mass numbers to something like that. But he starts in the P.E.K.K.A.S. Wall breaks in, King comes down, Super Wizard's down, everything looking good, lots of balloons out in front to go search for Black Mines and deal some damage up front. Early ward ability, Healers did take a Black Mine, but the ward ability was active. The balloons will hit the hate rage there, I mean, and surge out in front there ahead of the healers. Get some strikes up on the buildings up ahead of them, increasing the damage output while at the same time protecting the healers, the hogs out of the siege barracks. Will come in from the left side. He has to push its way all the way across to the town hall. He's got the jump to give access into it. It is safe at the moment. Getting targeted a little bit, I guess, by that multi inferno. But overall, looking good here. He's got the push towards the town hall. The queen veered off to the left compartment. The Pekka step up to the town hall, though. They're not inside of a rage, though, but they will drop that town hall. All healers are going to go down to the multi inferno as he walks right past it. But that's okay. The king breaks out the backside, joins in with the witches. And he's on his way to the final push, but he's only got 40 seconds to round the base here. Baby Dragon work on the outside. The P.E.K.K.A. crossing through, but the P.E.K.K.A. is not going to do much in there. No, wait. It's got the jump still active. It can step in. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And a trip to the World Championship Qualifiers if he can lock it in. 20 seconds to close it out. There we go. RC pops their ability. Pushes through. Minions on the backside. And he's got it. DC Ranger. Eliminates Badzinger and will advance to the World Championship Qualifiers. Ladies and gentlemen, they've done it. Badzinger reaches the end of their road. Oh, baby, it's a triple. Let's go. <laughs> One attack left to go here for Badzinger. Made it all the way through the brackets. Single elimination all the way through. Survived till the end where they ended up taking a loss, but they took the loss in the quarterfinals. Had one last opportunity to make it into the top six and out of the top eight, and they have done it and they will advance to play for the golden ticket. A crazy war. A crazy war. But he'll charge his queen in to the scattershot here and we'll continue on to go get the enemy war champion. And it's war, it's uh, it's attacks like this when you get into the situation like this. Where you... You get to sit there and play the what if, you know? Like, if DC Ranger didn't triple that and lock in the win, would this attack have been the decider? If he doesn't get it, then it would have been like, all right, well, they weren't going to make it anyways. But if they did get that defense, would this have been the winning attack of the war? That's the question that we have to ask yourself. He's got the CC pull. He'll take out the multi inferno. King will clear that top compartment, clearing out all the way to the artillery with the double wall break. Log launcher giving him access all the way through. He's got the wall open to give him into the town hall. I mean, Jason CC troops there for a second, but he. Got it under control here. One of the healers transferred over to the king for just a moment and parked itself in a bad position and it will go down. The queen will step her way right into the town hall. He's getting ready for the... Or oh, it looks like the road champions coming from the top corner with a unicorn. He used the lassie on the queen. He did, okay. 
Queen will walk right into the single inferno, but I think she'll protect herself for a little bit there, get away with her ability, and just break to the bottom half of the base here to end up breeding through a wall down there and go towards that last air defense. Dragons will push their way in. A couple on the left side will go into the multi inferno, the ones on the right. We'll take out the enemy queen with the ward ability and the help of those headhunters there. He's at the multi inferno in the middle. He's got one more invisibility. The queen is safe on the bottom side. Nothing's going to threaten her for the rest of the attack there. With only one healer standing, she'll find a cannon down there, but he's got enough. Oh, man. Phil's bad, man. It's a triple, guys. It's a triple all day long, but it's not enough for the win. Too little, too late, and this attack, right there, Juan's time fell. Could have swung the war. Crazy.